Altitude, traffic, snow, driving a ring on dangerous roads. It's not all about skill and nerve. I mean, you need a vehicle that changes just as quickly. And that's what the train management system does. We just turn the dial. I tell you what, you spend hours on the road, it's nice when a rig can go off-road. Several Facebook fans have asked about curve control on Ford Explorer. They want to know how it works and what it does. Well, let's take a look. Dan was driving too fast for that curve. Fortunately, curve control automatically reduced engine torque and applied braking to help bring him down to a more manageable speed. Now we're going to run the same course in a test Explorer that has curve control disabled. But this time, we're going to replace the cones with priceless Ming Dynasty vases. So that's with and without curve control. Hope that was helpful. The question posted on Facebook is, how do the rain sensing wipers know it's raining? Well, the same way you do, they look. The Explorer's available rain sensing wipers have optical sensors that detect moisture on the windshield. And the wipers know to speed up or slow down depending on how hard it's raining. So a Facebook fan wants to know, what is hill descent control? It's actually really cool. What it does is it allows you to set and maintain your speed when you're going down hills. Really easy to use and a lot of fun. Come on, let's check it out. All we have to do is press the hill descent control button here. Press and release, put it in drive, and we're off. I pick my speed, let go of the brake, and they accelerator and it's engaged and so you can actually press the accelerator or the brake you know to regulate your speed and this works great on wet grass which we're on now or rocks gravel not big rocks like gravel rocks that's pretty much it I love technology. It's so accurate that we feel confident in letting Active Park Assist park between these two local attorneys. Did you slip and fall? Do you suffer from head or neck injury? Have you been hurt in an accident? Do you know okay, someone? Okay, guys, who... give it a rest. Okay, Ford Explorer, go ahead and park yourself between these two uh, gentlemen. Just touch a button and Active Park Assist helps you parallel park your Explorer quickly, easily, and safely. Active Park Assist uses something called an ultrasonic based sensing system for precise parking every time. Yeah, I don't think so, guys. The Explorer has plenty of storage and console space. Oh, and Brian here is going to help us demonstrate. Good man, Brian. He's a giver. So Brian has a huge family. Well, luckily the Explorer has a lot of hiding places to put those gifts. That looks good. Present! Like bloodhounds. Question, 
How many people can explore our seat? Well, the answer to that is up to seven people, which for me is really good news because now I have enough room for the entire family. Let's take a look. So mom and dad are in the back, my brothers and my sister are in the middle, and Grammy up front with me, riding shotgun. She likes the heated seats. Question, how do you set the power lift gate? The Explorer has an available power lift gate that you open with a press of a button. And you can set the extension height. Here's how. So you can adjust the power lift gate to the extension height you want, and then you press this button here and hold it. You're gonna hear a ding. Now it's set, so the next time you open it, it's gonna go to that height. Really handy if you have a garage door that's low hanging, or if you park your car in a cave with stalactites. couple things there, bro, amigo. First of all, you need your key fob with you in the vehicle to start the Ford Explorer. Just have it somewhere on you, and then you put your foot on the brake, and then you push the start button, and then you can go. Second, pretty sure we agreed that you load and I drive. Yeah. Dude, this key fob's pretty cool. All you do is hit a button, and the power lift gate goes up automatically. There's another button in here, you press it, and the rear seats stow automatically. Sweet, right? Very sweet. You know what's not automatic? What's that? Our gear getting inside. Right. Yeah, you want to yeah. jump on that? Jump on it. That'd be awesome. He's jumping on it. Question. Can you change the on-screen voice languages on the Explorer? Yes, you can. All you do is go to My Ford Touchscreen, and you hit menu, settings, system. Then it's gonna pull up English, French, or Spanish. Let's try Spanish. Changing language. Idioma configurado en español. Ahí lo tienes. Trilingüe con solo tocar un botón. Question. Does my Ford Touch respond to voice commands? And the answer to that is yes, it does. Let me show you how it works. You just press this button right here, and then you say one of the thousands of voice commands that my Ford Touch responds to. Let me show you. Please say a command. Climate. Climate, say a command. Max AC. Maximum AC on. And this is all hands free. I'm here today to demonstrate how the collision warning system with brake support works on the Explorer. Let's say you're driving along and the car in front of you slows down. If you get too close, the Explorer will alert you that it senses a potential collision in front of you and then the brakes will become more responsive to the driver. Yeah, let's stop in the middle of the road. That's, that makes sense. Uh, oh. This clown seriously needs to learn how to drive. Mm -hmm. 